Full Southern Indiana. Um, we reinstituted the bus trip, which I thought was really cool. We had uh, three of our four uh, coaches and ten of our student athletes, um, and a variety of other uh, folks come down and kind of make a uh, kind of a, a splash coming in. And our uh, students are visiting the tables and getting around. So we're really trying to um, uh, engage with the with the fans that are always here. And you know, without a doubt, our our strongest. Uh, uh, turn out of the tour and pleased to be here. So I'd be happy to answer uh, any questions if there if there are any. The basketball team uh, positioned top 15 ranking. The the optimism generated by, by that. Your thoughts on that, and then uh, yeah, your thoughts on that first. Well, you know, I, I take rankings with a grain of salt, especially preseason, and, and they're actually ranking a team that's different than the than the team that we have now in some ways. So take that take that in stride. Uh, having said that, uh, given that we're looking to, um, you know, improve on where we've been the last couple of years, it's heartening that we're being mentioned among, you know, the top 15, 20 teams in the country. So I think that's, I think that's positive. Do you believe that the guys on the team now are mature enough to no more glitches, no more incidents? Well, I, you know, I think these are a good group of kids. I really do. Um, and and uh, uh, we had a lot of freshmen last year. And like Al McGuire used to say, the best thing about a freshman is they become sophomores. So I think that's uh, positive. But, you know, we're, we're dealing with college kids, and I'm not going to stand up and warrant anybody that there won't be any more glitches. Um, I'll warrant that they'll be handled appropriately and, and decisively and quickly and, um, and, and not necessarily uh, – Dramatically, we'll, we'll respond in the appropriate way. Um, but I think anybody in my role would be silly to to uh, to warrant that there won't be any you know glitches. There there probably will be somewhere. The cost of, of attendance would IU potentially be at a disadvantage if if you're offering three thousand, Wisconsin offers five thousand. Even though I know you can argue it's it, it ultimately is the same. But do the public understand? Would kids understand? The difference between that as opposed to well, Wisconsin guy offered me five thousand, Indiana it's five thousand, three thousand. Does that put you at a disadvantage? Well, um, you know, I guess that'll that'll uh, be seen over time. I when this first was talked about, I naively thought that you could set a uniform number, which seemed fair, and to, to avoid a lot of the monkey business that I think people are worried about that might occur. And that's I should know this as a lawyer, but that's violative of antitrust, you know, so you can't do that. So it has to be institution by institution. I think the main thing is that hopefully the the powers that be will police to make sure that the institutions are following their own rules in terms of how they set that. And if they do set that on an appropriate basis, as you suggest, that difference should come out in the wash because it's just more expensive to live in Los Angeles right. than it is in, in Bloomington. But if you're an 18-year-old kid and one place is going to give you a $3,000 check and one's going to give you a $4,000 check, you know, I think that's going to be an issue that will have to be addressed. And we'll see how much that does or doesn't carry the day in certain situations. Kind of an abstract question, but you know, a year ago this time, you were trying to be a leader in a lot of those things, cost of mm -hmm. education, I know not attendance, but just the whole Bill of Rights. Now we've seen a lot of similar reforms just kind of enacted across college sports. I mean, do you, do you feel at all like Indiana's, I guess, being out in the front of that has gotten sort of swallowed up? Do you feel like, I mean, what's the next step maybe in terms of trying to stay out in front of reform in college athletics for you? Right. Well, we're coming up on the first anniversary of the Bill of Rights, and and when we announced that, I said that uh, um, we'll always be the first, but I, I hope we're not the last. And, and I think we have um, been on the front edge of that, and I think we continue to reap benefits uh, from that because we did it really before we had to. We did it before people made us, and I think set the market a little bit uh, in terms of um, – in terms of people who have followed, if, if just just for fun, I'd encourage you to, to look at the uh, Gamecock promise that South Carolina put out and see if it reminds you of anything uh, uh, from the text or from the graphics. And I, so I, I think we've been uh, we've been imitated, which I think is a great uh, compliment. Um, and I think we've learned things quicker than others because we implemented things and uh, earlier than others, and so we've been able to adjust that. Whether it's expanded meal. Uh, program the uh, nutrition oasises and other things that I think we were early on. So um, I, 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 I'm, I'm proud of the fact that we were early. I don't think the fact that other people have caught up undercuts that, and I think we will continue to look for ways to distinguish ourselves from others in the in the area of student athlete welfare. There, there was talk um, about starting a series potentially in basketball in Louisville. Is there any updates on that, or kind of where do things stand? Uh, no update other than um, both sides want to do a deal. 
um, and um, we've had very serious conversations about that. Like everything else, the devil's in the details. There are conference challenges and schedule challenges, but but uh, Coach Patino and everybody at Louisville and Coach Crean and everybody in Indiana want to get a deal done, and I expect that to happen in fairly short order. Would that, would that is that something that's on the table for next season, still, or is it down the line? I don't I don't think I don't think it will be for this upcoming season. Okay. What about Kentucky? What, are, what about Kentucky? I guess. Well, sorry, just for this upcoming season, you're talking 15, 16, or like. I'm talking. I'm talking 15. 16. Yeah, 15, 16. The upcoming. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. And yeah. with regards to Kentucky, there's really no no news. Um, I really would like to get that series back on. Um, I'm open to having additional conversations. Um, you know, we felt like we put a pretty good compromise on the table to get it to get it going, and and that that wasn't um, that wasn't uh, embraced by the the folks at Kentucky, but. Um, there have been conversations at the staff level, which I think is good, and, and I hope to get that series back on at some point. But there's no, right. there's no uh, talks or framework or anything going on. How about uh, facility-wise? Are you any closer to announcing details for South End Zone or even uh, volleyball or anything like that? Yeah, I, I hope so. We um, uh, want to announce uh, the balance of our capital projects that will be with the capital campaign. So we got out ahead of ourselves a little bit with Assembly Hall renovations. Um, and there'll be at least one other major project that, that I would expect to be announced, you know, uh, either before or shortly after the beginning of the school year. Anything else? Thanks, everybody. Okay, Appreciate thanks. it.